I had been working as a delivery driver for a local courier service for a couple of years. The job was routine, pick up packages, drop them off at various locations, and repeat. But one autumn evening, a delivery would take me down an unexpected road. It was getting dark as I parked my delivery van in front of an old, seemingly abandoned house. The address matched the one on the package, but the place looked like it hadn't seen life in years. An eerie feeling crept over me as I approached the front door. Cautiously, I rang the doorbell. After what felt like an eternity, the door creaked open. A tall, thin man with sunken eyes and a pale complexion greeted me. He looked like he hadn't seen the light of day in ages. He took the package, muttering a barely audible thanks, before disappearing back into the shadows of the house. As I turned to leave, a strange sensation prickled the back of my neck. I felt like I was being watched. Glancing around, I noticed a flicker of movement in an upstairs window. My heart raced as I tried to dismiss it as a trick of the fading light. Back in my van, I couldn't shake the feeling of unease. I decided to pull up a bit and observe the house from a distance. The minutes dragged on, and I was about to dismiss my paranoia when I saw a light turn on in an upstairs room. Someone was definitely in there. Curiosity and a sense of responsibility pushed me to investigate further. I discreetly circled the house, looking for any signs of life. The windows were mostly covered in dust, but I managed to spot movement through a crack in the curtains. It looked like the same man, pacing nervously. I debated whether to call the police, but without concrete evidence of wrongdoing it felt premature. Instead, I decided to follow the man's movements from a safe distance. As I trailed him, he seemed to be making frantic phone calls, glancing over his shoulder as if he knew he was being watched. The suspense reached its peak when he abruptly left the house, package in hand, and headed towards a nearby park. I trailed behind, careful to keep a distance. He disappeared into the shadows of the park, and my imagination ran wild with possibilities. Eventually he returned to the house, and I made my way back to the van. Days passed, and I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off about that delivery. I never found out what was truly happening in that old, mysterious house, but the experience left me with a lingering sense of unease every time I drove past it. Sometimes, the ordinary job of a delivery driver could unexpectedly lead you into the heart of a suspenseful mystery.